we've got first Lieutenant Shane Glass with us, who's the platoon leader of the JLENS here. And uh, I'm going to get to it as well. JLENS, Joint Land Attack Cruise Missile Defense Elevated Netted Sensor System. Got it. Okay. You got it. What does all that mean? Essentially what that means is we have two radars that we put in an aerostat, which is a lighter than airship. We elevate them to 10,000 feet. And what that does is it removes many of the restrictions that a traditional ground-based radar sees. Uh, terrain, buildings, some things that limit the range and our ability to see what we need to see. And what kind of attacks are we talking about this thing can look at? What we're looking for is large aircraft and large boats. We're looking for things that could potentially carry threats that could harm our country. So the question that Sam and we're all asking is, you know, this blimp is going up in the air. Is it looking at our data? Is it looking at our phones? Is it looking at our cars? And that's a great question. There's been a lot of discussion about that, but there are no cameras on the aerostat. We're not here to track anybody. What we're here to do is to pretend our, protect our country and to keep everybody a little bit safer. Now, what about weather then? This thing goes up to 10,000 feet, correct? Absolutely, it does. So what kind of weather can you expect up there? What kind of weather is it rated for? Well, we see all kinds of conditions. We see heavy winds, thunderstorms, uh, snow and ice. What we have on station, we have our own weather radar and we have our flight directors who are trained to analyze these patterns so we can start making decisions before the weather even becomes an issue. In the event something does come up unexpectedly, we have a lightning protection system on the aerostat. To now, whereabouts is that? That's on the top part, isn't it? Uh, all around the aerostat. Okay, so, so that, that can withstand a lot, of, a lot of different kinds of weather, which is good. Absolutely, and of course heavy winds is another concern as well. We make sure we come down before it becomes an issue because safety is our number one concern. And the tether itself is quite interesting, isn't it? It can really withstand quite a, quite a beating from the wind. Uh, incredibly capable, absolutely. It's... Now, we were talking about weather, and maybe in, in extreme weather conditions, you'd have to bring the blimp down, bring the J-Lens down. It, would that make us strategically vulnerable at all? That's a great question, but no, it doesn't. We have a very layered defense here. It, it's an excellent defense system we have in place. This is just another step in the layer to help keep us safer. Okay. First, Lieutenant Shane Glass, thank you very much indeed for telling us about the J-Lens.